Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a chatty video about having a larger family. And I have five children, the youngest is two and a half, so I'm in the thick of it with my, the terrific twos, uh, but, and my oldest is 11. And so I just wanted to talk about my honest thoughts about having a larger family. I know I come from a family of 10 children, so five seems like it's not that big. For some people that might not be a lot, but for me it is. Um, it's funny because I felt like I could really juggle four very, very well. And then Maria Grace came and she is amazing and beautiful and such a blessing. But it is very, very hard for me with, with Maria Grace. So I'm going to get into like kind of the pros and cons. But um, I want to do this kind of in a informal, like just chatty video. Because over on my Patreon, I do chatty videos every month. And I really miss having connection with you guys. And I know not everybody can, you know, financially support me over on Patreon. So I'd like to do more of these type of chatty videos that are, you know, maybe storytelling and just kind of to get the conversation going about these maybe hotter topics. I don't know. I don't even feel like it's a hot topic, but just, you know, what you and your husband maybe have figured out for your family. Cause I feel like the comments, there's so much great wisdom in the comments. And, um, I know a lot of people think the comments are for me, but I really encourage you to write in the comments for each other, because I think that this community is so awesome. I have just so much love from all of you. I feel so loved by you and I just want you guys to share that love to everybody. So I thought I would do like these chatty videos but have them more geared towards th like a, a topic. And so this video is going to be about larger families. Um, I have always wanted a large family. I didn't get married till I was 30 and so I honestly didn't think I'd ever have to worry about NFP, uh, which if you don't know what that is, that's natural family planning because uh, in the Catholic Church, we don't believe that birth control is okay, artificial birth control. Um, and I have lots of videos on that if you want to know, but pretty much when you're Catholic, you're just really open to God's will. And um, NFP is kind of a hot topic too, but um, some people say that that's even a sin. So it's really honestly between you, your husband, and God. So I think the main thing is like to be open to the, God's will, right? Because to be honest, I had my first two. So Thomas was great. He was a good baby, but I was a hot mess. <laughs> like any little noise he'd make, I would nurse him. Like I just like, it was painful actually like looking back now. I'm like, oh my goodness. I just didn't sleep for like three months straight. It was just crazy because I was like constantly like worried about my little baby. Anyway, um, and then Jacob came. So it was very hard for me and my husband to get pregnant and actually used NFP to try to get pregnant. Like we were trying to have a baby. You know, it just wasn't God's timing apparently, but it was so hard because I was 30 when I got married and I wanted babies right away. Like we were both hoping on our honeymoon we would have babies. And that was not God's plan. He really was working on my patience. And anyway, two years later, we had Thomas. And so it was very, very hard to get pregnant with Thomas. And so I just assumed that it would be really hard to get pregnant again. And so I ended up getting pregnant with Jacob. They're 15 months apart, Thomas and Jacob, 15 months apart. So very, very close. They're not quite Irish twins, but they are very, very intense. I didn't live by any family. My husband was going to school full time to get his master's. I was a hot mess. It was literally the hardest time in my life, having two, two, and I have five now. So, um, so anyway, I'm just kind of walking you through the journey. So anyway, so two was extremely hard. Uh, and mainly because Jacob was, so, he was the cutest little chunky baby, but he was so needy. Whereas Thomas wasn't like that at all. Like he would go to anybody. He was happy to be around everybody. But Jacob was just, wanted only me. He was either super happy or super sad. And I just, I felt like I was literally being crushed. It was so hard. 
Um, and then <laughs> I found out I was pregnant with number three. Um, that one was a little bit more like I you I did um, learn NFP after having Jacob because I did have a C-section and they said you need to wait at least a year before you can get pregnant again. So I you I learned NFP and my my family were going to move to China and so I was like okay we'll do NFP until after China because I don't want to have a baby in China and so anyway I tried to do NFP and I got pregnant from you know doing the the Marquette no the Creighton method and so anyway I was like okay and I was panicked because I was worried about the c-section and all of that i really honestly had to surrender to god with that one um and then zachary came and he was the sweetest little baby and just very 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 good baby um and then same thing with bella i had bella and and each time after jacob my second the doctor was like you can have another baby i guess my scars have really healed and so each time my doctor's like, yeah, you can have another baby. So we're like, really? Like we were like, we were shocked that we could have more. And so anyway, so we had Bella and I would say like four children. It was awesome. Like I loved it. Like Thomas and Jacob, they were all like seven, no, six. They were all really young. They're very close together. Um, and, and it was hard. It was definitely hard because you had to juggle a lot constantly, but I was so fulfilling. That is the interesting part because I think people associate things that are really hard as like, okay, let's not do this because it's really hard. But the truth is like, it's super hard, but it can be so fulfilling at the same time. And that's totally what I realized about motherhood. Um, I'm somebody who kind of gives up pretty easily actually on certain things. My husband's the opposite. He will go, go, go. Um, he ran a whole mile with a broken leg, <laughs> a fractured like bone. And I would never do that. Like we're so opposite. But anyway, the point is like, I am so glad. I'm so glad that I kept going, that I kept having children. Um, Maria Grace, I had two miscarriages before her and that was really hard. And actually I had one miscarriage like two weeks before I conceived her, uh, or maybe it was three weeks, but it was like, it was super close. And so, um, so I did, I felt like I was still mourning my, my miscarriage and I got pregnant, uh, the rainbow baby. And so I was like, in this weird place of like mourning the child I just lost and finding out I was pregnant again and also being equally nervous that I could have a miscarriage again. So it was like this really weird place and my hormone levels were all over. Like I was so sick. I was, I think I was 41 when I gave birth to her. And so there's just a lot that went into it. Um, but I really felt like it was such a self-sacrifice. Like it was truly like mother and motherhood. You'll know if you're a mom, it is such a sacrifice of yourself. So the pregnancy with Maria Grace was really challenging, but once I had her, it was, it was good and easy for, for the most part, most of the time, she was a really good baby too. I think Jacob, my second was by far my hardest. And so I just encourage you, if you are having a really hard, baby like don't don't call don't call it quits because the other babies might be super super easy and ultimately it's supposed to be up to god right and um and stuff but i just remember after having jacob being like i get why people only have two children like this is painfully hard i'm never gonna have my life back i'm never gonna get to like just live a normal life like it's just gonna always be this hard and it was a slow process, but once you get past it, it's so fulfill it's so awesome. And it's fulfilling in the time, but it is it's draining too at the same time. So the great thing about having five children is that 
I, Thomas was, he was nine when I had Maria Grace and he was so helpful. And even now, like Maria Grace is two and a half and he is, him and Jacob are so helpful. Like I can actually go take a shower while they watch Maria Grace, you know? And it's like, it's really neat to like, I've heard that like if you have big families the older kids will help with the younger ones so it's almost easier having more children because they're really helping and they're an example like potty training the older the younger ones is so much easier for some reason because the older ones are kind of an example like they see them going into the bathroom and they you know they're like what's that all about and and stuff so it's it is interesting they see them eating normal food so they want to eat normal food and there's just so many like benefits to having bigger families and I I love it. I will say it is so hard. It's very hard and you kind of lose yourself in it and the world says that that's so bad. Like make sure you remember who you are, which a part of me understands that like one day our kids are going to grow up and they're going to want to go do their own thing, live their own life, have their own children. And so a part of me understands like, yeah, you do want to remember who you are and like, you know, what are your gifts and talents and, you know, what do you like but at the same time i think that there is something so holy and beautiful about just erasing yourself being so selfless constantly you'll have your whole like the rest of your life to really like dig into you know what you want to do but i just encourage you to like dive into motherhood and to embrace it and if it's really really hard that's actually okay. I know the world says no, like you time, you, you, you. And to a certain extent, I understand that, you know, like if you're going down on an airplane, they say to grab, you know, the air for yourself first before, you know, putting the air on your, your children and stuff. And there is some truth to that. Like you do need to make sure that you're fully functioning for your children, but like you also need to be careful because it can become a very selfish thing where you put your children last. And so, you you know, there is a balance with motherhood and just in life in general, right? But, um, you know, there I do want to say before I go, there have been interviews to, to very, very famous women, right? In, in the media, they were in journalism, all these people, women who are very well off, very successful, and they all got interviewed. And so many of those women said that their, their biggest regret was not having more children. And I think there's truth to that because I've never heard anyone say, oh, I had too many children. I shouldn't have had this many children, right? Like I've only heard people say, I wish I would have had more. And I know like when we're in the thick of it, there there is this thing of like, this is so much, but then you get past that and it becomes so beautiful and so wonderful. You see your children interacting, entertaining each other. I remember babysitting a lady and, um, and, a, and she had one daughter and the, it came up that like she's done having children, like one is enough. And I was like, oh really? And she's like, yes, one is, I can't even imagine having another. It's so hard having one. And in my head I was like, that's cause you only have one. Like if you had two or three or four, like they would entertain each other. Like that is the great thing about having a big family is like they entertain each other. And, and it's true, yes, they fight. Yes, there's, you know, a thing, there's messes everywhere, <laughs> which is for me, the hardest part about motherhood is how messy my house is and how I'm constantly cleaning. But you know, you could take those moments and those are sanctifying. Like you can become a saint through cleaning your house constantly, through doing all these, things. anything you do really, you can be a saint through doing it. You can grow in holiness. So all these opportunities are a beautiful blessing from God to grow in holiness, which is so opposite of what the world says, you know, like we will be more happy if we get our way with everything. And that is actually the opposite. When we are giving of ourselves, when we are pleasing God, when we are serving others, which is our family, our children, 
um, that is where we will be the most fulfilled. And so I just encourage you that if you're in that place of like, should we have more? Like, it's so beautiful. It is really, really hard, but it is really, really, truly, honestly beautiful. So I would love to hear your comments on what you think um, about having, you know, a big family. I know not everybody can do it for different reasons, financial, maybe your body, maybe your mental health. There are things that, you know, the church, like, yeah, those are good reasons to like, maybe not have you know children but if it's like a reason where it's like oh this is so hard i just want to get my body back i just you know like all these things that are a little bit selfish then maybe that's a good thing to look at and be like god what do you want is this your will or is this my will so anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video and gave you some food for thought and ultimately we truly just want to say god what do you want what is your plan for our marriage for our life for our family um, I come from a family of 10 and it was such a blessing. I absolutely loved it. I had, you know, nine best friends and we knew each other really well and we had so much fun. We lived out in the country and it was just the best childhood. And I've heard that the best gift you can give to your children are an amazing marriage and more siblings and I think that there's so much truth to that so anyway I would love to hear what you have to say what are your words of wisdom I know so many of you are gifted and so anyway I hope you have a great day until next time God bless bye